how much hydrogen peroxide in nasal rinse. If you're considering using hydrogen peroxide for a nasal rinse, it's crucial to get the concentration just right to avoid any potential harm. Let's break down the safe and effective way to do this. First, it's important to understand that hydrogen peroxide can be quite harsh if not diluted properly. High concentrations can cause irritation, inflammation, and even burns to the mucous membranes and skin. For a nasal rinse, you need to dilute the hydrogen peroxide significantly. Here's a simple and safe method. Mix 50 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide with 100 milliliters of water. This dilution is key to ensuring the solution is gentle enough for your nasal passages while still being effective against bacteria and viruses. To use this solution, squirt about one teaspoon of the diluted mixture into one nostril and sniff it to the back of your throat, then spit it out immediately. Repeat this process with the other nostril. It's recommended to do this nasal rinse twice in each nostril, and you can repeat the process two to four times a day for prevention or up to six times a day if you have an acute infection. It's also worth noting that some healthcare professionals recommend this method for conditions like chronic allergies, post-nasal drip, and even COVID-19 prevention. However, always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new treatment especially if you have any underlying health conditions or concerns. Remember, the key is in the dilution. Using undiluted or highly concentrated hydrogen peroxide can lead to severe irritation and other complications, so always follow the recommended dilution ratio to ensure safety and effectiveness.